My name is Kyle Suero, I'm a senior security advocate at Sneak, and today we're going to talk about DevSecOps. In this video, we're going to cover three things. What is DevSecOps, the difference between DevOps and DevSecOps, and the benefits of DevSecOps. So your first question might be, what is DevSecOps? Well, in simple terms, DevSecOps refers to the integration of security practices and tooling into a DevOps software delivery model. So DevSecOps is essentially the practice of merging development operations and security practices together instead of treating them as separate disciplines. So similar to how DevOps combines development and operations to help you build and ship software quicker, basically DevSecOps is the practice of using tooling techniques and culture to help you develop and deploy secure software. So this is a huge, huge benefit. This is changing the way that we apply security requirements to software. The definition of DevSecOps is to integrate security objectives as early as possible into the life cycle of software development. Integrating another practice into the SDLC at the beginning follows the shift left paradigm, meaning that you're adding a new element to your process all the way at the left or the beginning, rather than adding it at the right or the end. So essentially, we're going to now uh, dive into the difference between DevOps and DevSecOps. So the difference is basically the culture of shared responsibility in regards to security. The DevOps model ensured both the integrity of the delivered product and the effectiveness of the underlying operations. DevSecOps differs, however, in the sense that it expands DevOps and includes security objectives inside. Basically, DevSecOps infuses security practices into fast feedback software delivery and organizational culture. Unlike traditional DevOps and security models, in which information security objectives are inserted at the end of the software cycle, DevSecOps integrates security and engineering with a shift left mindset, so integrates it throughout the SDLC starting at the beginning. DevSecOps is a movement that harnesses DevOps' power, bringing security practices into the fold. Activities designed to identify and ideally solve security issues are injected early into the lifecycle of application development rather than after a product is released. This is accomplished by enab enabling development teams to perform many security tasks independently within the software development lifecycle, or SDLC as we call it. This shift in how secure development takes place has profoundly affected the ease of remediating security vulnerabilities. Finding vulnerabilities earlier in the software development lifecycle is better than the alternative. The adoption of DevSecOps has been swift in high output environments. So essentially, where a code's being released all the time, where there is a robust DevOps model, there's been a swift adoption of DevSecOps. Minimizing vulnerabilities in production is one of the many advantages of the DevSecOps model. An even greater advantage, or perhaps the biggest reason to adopt a DevSecOps mindset, is digital transformation. Digital transformation has become a requirement for almost all enterprises. Such transformations include three significant motions, more software, cloud technologies, and DevOps methodologies. Since the evolution of DevOps has enabled whole infrastructures to be spun up or spun down with the click of a button or the stroke of a key press, the security guardrails that have made their way to the SDLC for application code should operate on infrastructure code as well. Naturally, expanding the safeguards that we utilize in application code to cloud and infra code makes a lot of sense, since the way that these folks work is ultimately very similar. With the code press or code change, there's a significant impact on applications or infrastructure, so obviously you'd want to scan um, infra and cloud code just like you're scanning application code. Now that we understand how important DevSecOps is, let's talk about six benefits you'll see with DevSecOps in practice. One, faster delivery. The speed of software delivery is improved when security is integrated into the pipeline. Bugs are identified and fixed before deployment, allowing developers to focus on their priorities, like shipping features. Two, improved security posture. Security is included as a feature from the design phase onwards. A shared responsibility model ensures that security is tightly integrated from building and deploying to securing production workloads. Three, reduced costs. Identifying vulnerabilities and bugs before deploying results in an exponential reduction in risks and operational cost. So the further left in the process we identify vulnerabilities, effectively the cheaper it is, right? The less, the less time we're wasting as well. We'll get to that actually. So four, enhancing the value of DevOps. Improving overall security posture as a culture of shared responsibility is created by the integration of security processes into DevOps. Security is essentially everyone's job. 
So that is um, essentially a huge win for everyone working on DevOps, security, development, etc. It's going to create more alignment, it's going to create more collaboration, and it's going to create a culture of security and security awareness and doing security for security's sake. Number five, improving secure development standards. Cost and time of secure software delivery are reduced by eliminating the need to retrofit security controls post-development. As we were talking about, you save a lot of time by shifting left. You're able to basically work security requirements into the software um, requirements, right? And it's essentially, uh, it's a winning recipe in my opinion. And the alternative, as you can see, is retrofitting security controls, bolting on security, as most people in the industry like to call it. And bolting on security is difficult. It's um, way more productive to think about um, how to design these things securely from the start and to promote that sort of mindset, that sort of thinking about security. And last but not least, six, enabling greater overall business success. Greater consumer trust and security of existing software and new technologies enables enhanced revenue growth, growth and expanded business offerings. Essentially, you need to work on your house before you expand it, right? You need to, you need to um, basically make sure your house is great and then you're gonna expand your house. So you should make sure that um, your base product offerings are secure and they are basically going to stay secure through continuous security and by uh, integrating them into a full DevSecOps cycle, you can ensure that any any sort of change is evaluated against a baseline. So there will be something that your customers can trust, something that you can trust to ensure that your services aren't going to degrade or become weaker over time with the integration of new pieces of code. So that's all I have for you today. If you like this video, be sure to leave a like. Be sure to comment and subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more videos like this. Please do feel free to leave any comments for content that you'd like to see. And uh, once again, my name is Kyle Suero. I'm a senior security advocate at Sneak. And thank you for watching this video.